right. I believe we're live. Good morning, Elena. How are you today? I'm doing good. How are you today? I'm doing very well. Thank you for your time this morning. To all of our brothers and sisters in the LinkedIn Live community, thank you for your time this morning. We'll be talking about a very interesting subject, um, having the ability to do an automated decision for borrowers, very much like the Amazon experience that, that we have today. But I thought what was very important about this discussion is that customers' expectations today are such that if they find your website or if they, or if they find a way to apply for one of your credit products, that they want an answer almost immediately. And the reason Elena's here to join us today is that's very capable and, and being done today, but I wanted her to go into detail on the backside of what's going on that your customer doesn't even know about um, from that perspective. So Elena, you know, with our clients, we play with, with non-traditional lenders and traditional lenders. Um, they would access uh, their application through a customer portal that we provide um, and can white label for their clients. Um, but what goes on after that client hits the submit button? Tell us a little bit about all of that, all of that minutia that's going on. Uh, right. So um, it's um, interesting that these days all people want Amazon-like experience in any, I mean, whatever they do, right? So uh, people don't have patience. The attention span is very uh, short and uh, people want to get what they want when they want immediately. So they're not ready to sit and wait uh, and, and uh, they want just to use buy now button whenever it's available, right? So, and um, uh, we see a similar trend in lending, but the problem with lending is that uh, the uh, process uh, is way more complex and the transaction is way more complex than it is in a, like in retail, right? Business. So, um, when, uh, when, uh, and, and uh, in order to provide that great user experience, it has to be very thought through and it has to be very simple and clean at the same time, very comprehensive. Mm -hmm. uh, because on one hand, we don't want to overload our applicant with, uh, you know, with too many um, forms and too many fields to fill in. On the other hand, we need to capture all the information that we need to make a decision. And uh, so it, it all starts with, the, uh, first of all, they have to uh, have some online channel where they can um, start their loan application process. It can be a website of the financial institution. It can be a partner's website if, uh, let's say, a financial institution provides loans um, buy now, pay later kind of loans through their retail partners. So it all starts with um, a website application form, but then this process has to be very simple, guided, and at the same time it has to uh, collect all the right information. When uh, we talk about decision in, in lending, um, it's actually multiple decisions that we need to make simultaneously. We need to make sure that we're eliminating fraud, we need to make sure that we're assessing the credit worthiness of the person who's applying or the business that's applying. And we need to make sure that uh, we um, analyze their um, um, current financial position and make prediction or estimate uh, what's, uh, what we can expect um, in the future because the repayment, uh, especially if it's a longer term uh, loan, right? So we need to make sure that the person can pay back their um, loan and that uh, it won't put them in some uh, financial hardship. So there are a lot of decisions that we need to make and um, unless we use a very sophisticated technology, there is no way a human can process uh, information and make decisions in a short time while the person is still waiting um, on the website, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, then, um, so we are done with the first step. We collected some information. Now we need to, um, based on the information provided by the user on, on the application form, we need to collect tons additional data points, like a lot of um, um, a lot of information from uh, other sources. 
Um, and if we look at what uh, what parameters we need to prod uh, to to analyze and um, to what characteristics we need to base our decision on, it includes um, credit worthiness. We need to pull reports from credit bureaus. Um, it's fraud prevention. Uh, it means that we need either to pull reports from providers like um, Thomson Reuters, WorldCheck, or uh, similar. Then we need to look at um, at uh, their financial position uh, to verify their income. Uh, in this case, we would work with providers like Plaid and uh, others who who can um, access and send us bank statement information. Then uh, we integrate with Google Maps to do um, mailing address uh, verification instantly. So, and um, unless you are connected through API to all those data sources, uh, you cannot access this information instantly and you cannot process it instantly, right? So I keep hearing about the cloud, the cloud, the cloud, right? So our, our technology is set up so that a, a borrower can apply or credit facility or the credit product, hit the submit button and our system goes out and into the cloud, touches those different databases, does a web call, grabs that information, brings it back, machine looks at, at the data presented and sends an approval to the client in real time. In real time, yeah. So uh, as of today, the shortest time that we make a decision is two seconds. So two seconds and wow. that includes yeah, so that includes a credit bureau report, internal uh, database of the organization, because they have a credit history with some of their customers, and uh, some um, rules that they won't apply depending on what loan uh, the person is applying for. So uh, two seconds, that's, um, that's um, the shortest time. Sometimes it takes longer when we have to wait for response uh, from from uh, credit bureaus or other providers, but it's still pretty much real time because that's especially for consumer loans. People don't want to wait even a few minutes. They want to receive their decision instantly. So yeah, without using um, artificial intelligence, without using um, very sophisticated um, algorithm of uh, business rules. Um, you cannot make these decisions uh, quickly. Mm -hmm. You know, if I, as my in my traditional lending days, when you said two seconds, I would have jumped. I would have said, "There's no way that I'm trusting a machine to make that type of decision and 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 have me incur that type of liability or that type of risk." So, in 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 our solution, how how do you measure the performance? How do you measure that that capability of the machine to make the decision one in real time and two against the the type of liability that a borrower or a lender could face, or so a lender? I'm sorry. Yeah, that's uh, uh, the advantage of uh, handling the whole lending process on the same platform. So where we are able to collect all real time data. Uh, immediately and we are processing it as we're collecting it. So mm -hmm. basically uh, we we can see the uh, performance of any borrower in real time and once uh, the machine finds something abnormal or something that, that can represent potential, it can represent a risk, we get an alert. So um, it's it's um, never ending. The system keeps working. It's up trains itself, depending on um, on the new information that it's collecting, depending on the changes in our portfolio. So mm -hmm. uh, it still requires some human um, supervision. Uh, someone checks the reports that the system automatically generates on a regular basis to make sure that uh, the system. Um, uh, not um, not moving in the right direction and makes uh, the decision that we expect it to make, right? So, mm -hmm. but um, we rely on AI to analyze the performance of our portfolio um, in real time, and we also rely on it to predict uh, what would happen within months. And then, again, in real time, we compare the predictions to the actual situation, and when we need to make adjustments, we make them quickly. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that that for the lenders that are interested in this type of performance, 
that that first and foremost we could set the bar above uh, a minimal uh, credit score or threshold, right? That that lending institution, this is my appetite for auto approval, and then they may have a, an appetite for a counter offer. So that if someone applies and they're not above that threshold that they don't lose the opportunity to bring that borrower into their book of business, but that they can offer a counter offer where a loan officer or some type of associate within that institution could reach out to that borrower and say, hey, thank you very much. Could we get a little bit more information before we're able to, to approve you for your loan? Absolutely. That's again, uh, and uh, many of these um, analysis. I mean, many of these uh, tasks and counter um, offers uh, generation, and um, you know, are deciding on the credit limit on credit term for a particular borrower can be done by a machine. So uh, even uh, if the person that applies for a certain loan doesn't qualify for this loan, uh, based on the matrices that we have in our um, um, in our workflow, the system can pick the right credit product and offer that credit product to the applicant automatically. It might be like a little bit uh, higher interest rate or a little bit shorter term. So this, uh, the machine also can do that. We just need to um, create all this algorithm and um, um, based on on the um, on our analysis decide uh, what. And it also includes risk-based pricing, right? So are they, it comes with solution naturally. So we always analyze the risk before we make an offer. And um, and uh, um, this function also can be automated. Fantastic. Man, we covered a lot of ground today. Thank you very much, Elena. It's Thank always you. a pleasure. Yes. yes, likewise. Thank you for our LinkedIn community being a part of our of our session this morning. If you have any questions, any concerns, any comments, or, or would like to see that Amazon-like experience with Turnkey Lender, please reach out. Thank, Thank you very much. Have a wonderful week.